Isolation protocol day 42. I just got off a half hour phone call with my daughter. She had a really hard day today. Uh, me, on the other hand, finally found a needle. I don't know where I misplaced my needles and was able to do the Kitchener stitch on the toe of the sock. So this sock is done and I started sock two, just barely started, but yeah, started sock two. Uh, that should be ready to go and, and uh, be, that should be finished in a couple more days if I work on it steadily. Um, while I was looking for the needle, I found this fabric that my daughter had given me. I am dying to make something with this. No clue what I want to make, but the fabrics, they're definitely my color and my style. So I'm thinking about what I can do with that and what fabric I have that I can add to it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, while I was talking to my daughter, I ate the fortune cookie and dropped the fortune. And I can't find it. It's probably over there where the dogs are licking themselves. Sorry if you can hear that. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, nothing much else. I've been trying to sort through some of the other um, yarn that I got, um, lots of yarn boxes from, um, well, that one says Indigo Quail, but uh, from Darn Good Yarn. And uh, I've got a lot of those projects all of a sudden, it's like, I want to make this, I want to make that. I want... So I'm trying to not start another project until I have finished more, or at least the second sock of this one. I'm almost finished with the second sock of the red and blue socks, too. So that will be two more projects done, and my goal is to cut down on the number of uh, half-finished projects. So for every two I finished, I'm allowing myself to start one new one. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. I have read Ghost Wall. Very, um, yeah, very interesting book. A little strange, a little kind of... Yeah, it's told from the point of view of a young girl and uh, on a um, uh, historical trip type of thing where, where it's a historical reenactment of the Bronze Age um, with a bunch of college students. And uh, the professor and her dad is the expert that um, they're using uh, to show them how to do things and, and give them projects to do. So that's, that's a very interesting story. Um, they kind of get a little bit too much into the Ghost Wall project. And that's all I'm going to say about that one. I really highly recommend that book, Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. It's very small, quick read, Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. Uh, also still reading, ah, still reading the, um, Trixie Moore book. I can't wait to finish reading that one so that I can go on to the new book too. So I, it's it's on my Kindle. Well, it's not on my Kindle yet. I need to um, uh, open up a, a, a mobile hotspot on my phone and, and update my Kindle. And the Kindle's getting pretty full, so I'm going to have to take a few books off of it that I've already read. Uh, anything else? Nope, nothing else. Busy day for my daughter, and I've just been knitting and reading. All right, catch you um, tomorrow on day 43, which will be the first day of week seven of this isolation protocols. Bye.